Hello, how are things? Jar Brown with you here for Irish Football Fan TV for my post-match reaction from the Carlisle Grounds where Finn Harps came away with a 2-0 victory against Bray Wanderers in the FBI Cup second round. Yeah, overall, as someone who was looking to hate this game as a neutral, a bit disappointing because you would have looked at the league standings and would have thought this was going to be an evenly poised game. Finn Harps, ninth in the Premier Division, Bray third in the First Division. You would have felt that maybe this game could be required more than 90 minutes to separate them and there could have been a possible upset but by half time it was pretty clear that that was just looking unlikely. Finn Harps, their Premier Division class told really in the end, especially in that first 45 minutes where the game wasn't quite over but it was very much their game to lose. Both goals coming from the Austrian Alexander Cogler, obviously high in confidence after scoring last week against Waterford. First goal, a long throw in for David Webster no player from either team got a touch to it, so it managed to make it all its way to the back post. And there was Cogler on Mark to hit past Brian Marr. Bray would be so frustrated to concede such a basic goal from what would be considered a simple thing to defend a set piece. And like that, a throw in as well. They've been so strong defensively, so that's what makes it even more surprising. Six clean sheets this season. There's a joint best defensive record in the first division, so they'll be very annoyed to cough up a goal so cheaply like that. They had started the better of the two teams in the opening 12 minutes before the goal. They looked more lively, they owned a little bit more of the ball and they were creating any of the little half chances that were coming. But that goal seemed to be a sucker punch for them. Harps grew in confidence and then doubled their lead about 20 minutes later when Adrian Delap, who was very impressive on the night, set up Cogler for his second goal of the night and put them in a comfortable position. They did have one good chance just before that break, he applies a good dribbling run from Callum Thompson, who's been a key player for him this season. He bet a couple of hard spares, got to the box, good strong effort, but Mark McGinley was well able for it. Obviously, as well, they lost Joe Doyle just after the first goal through injury as well. Paul Keegan came on for him, so that was obviously an early setback to lose a pair through injury so early. And you would have been looking for them into the second half, right? First five or ten minutes, get themselves back into it. You know, just even from a possession point of view, from a territory point of view, and left Finn Harps know they're going to be in the game, they're going to have to work for victory. But that went straight out the window when that player, Keegan, who only came on in midway through the first half, was red carded for a heavy challenge on Mark Russell. The referee showed no hesitation, red card. It was completely the right call, and that killed off any hope of a comeback and just ended the game pretty much as a contest. Second half, Peter out. There wasn't really much chances, but Finn Harps were very, very comfortable. They had a lot of the ball, they strokes around comfortably, they looked like they were operating in second or third gear, that they could up it if they had to go through more of the gears. Both teams just emptied the benches. Bray ended up bringing on four more substitutes. Finn Harps making four substitutions themselves. The game petered out and it was pretty clear as the half wore on that both teams already had turned their interest to next week and a couple of crucial league matches and a massive game for Bray if they want to get back up to the Premier Division. League leaders, Kevin you know, come to the Carlisle grounds on Friday evening. Bray would feel the old one as well in this one because they lost 4-2 in Strabuck on a horrible night in the opening night of the season and they'll feel that, that result didn't do justice for them really on the night because the conditions were just so difficult that it didn't really make for a good night for football. As for Finn Harps, as you will see in my interview with Ali Horgan, he's made reference that the league is crucial for them. Like He touched on them, two cup victories, they're great and everything else like that, but he'd do anything to swap them for six points and to climb up that table. They will take confidence. They've got a game against Sligo Rovers next week, a game that Finn Harps will always find their chance in because it's a derby. Form goes out the window. Sligo are in good form, though, so it won't be easy in the showgrounds. But, you know, they will take confidence from tonight, from last week. And like I said, Ali Horgan touched on, staying up in the, while getting to a cup quarter final and everything else like that is great, but staying up in the league is their main priority. But I think it's nice for Finn Harps now as well because... The cup doesn't become a distraction. That's the end of the FAI Cup uh, action until November, until the league season's over. So the, all their relegation concerns, whether it works out for them or not, they'll be out of the way with And they can give the cup a right good go um, in November. Obviously, if they stay up, you know, they'll, be, they'll be confident and everything else like that. I know Ollie Horgan will never admit, and, and it's far from his mind at the moment. But Finn Harps are three games away from possibly silverware and possibly a place in Europe, which would be absolutely massive. Um, for that club as well. That's um, all I have for, for myself from this game. Obviously the game was streamed live on Bray's Facebook. So anyone who's seen the game, whether you're a Bray fan or a Finn Harps game, Finn Harps fan, let me know what you thought yourself. Let me know what you thought of the game. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you're all keeping well.